hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i have my junior sister here with me her name is peace and we're going to be doing the nigerian tag yes. the, i have the questions on my phone here so we're going to be answering them we're both nigerian if that isn't obvious already and we'll be answering the rest of the questions for you guys so what is your traditional name Ogechuku. so her name is Ogechuku. my name is ogonna and what does it mean <laughs> it means God's time. Mine means God's gift. Were you born in Nigeria? Yes. Yeah, we were born in Nigeria. And do you live in Nigeria? Yes, yes we live we in do. Nigeria. <laughs> We've always lived in Nigeria. Yeah. Which part of Nigeria are you from? Anambra. We're from Anambra State. We're Igbo girls. Yeah. And what's your favorite Nigerian song? Like that. Can you play first? Let's hear. Hey. What is this? <laughs> it's dance. Mm. Um, what's your favorite Nigerian movie? Um, Skinny Girl in Transit. Probably. Or Dry. Dry? Yeah. What about it? <laughs> okay, my favorite Nigerian movie now. Whoa. I don't yeah, have. the movie type. I actually watch movies, but not really Nigerian movies like that. Yeah. So, um, what's your favorite Nigerian food? Okra and Amala or Egusi and Eba. Yo, combo, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't have a favorite food. I can eat anything, but I know I really do like abacha. Like when it's properly prepared. Um, African. Onions and the red yeah, pepper. all those things. Like when it's properly prepared, I love abacha. The, it's called African salad in English, okay. but that's why I love. And I like igusi soup and apple. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite Nigerian personality? Chike. I was afraid we were going to say Bobriski. Because it's a fine boy and he can sing. Uh, Bobriski, that one doesn't know, doesn't know what he's doing in his head. <laughs> I can't talk too much. Who's my favorite Nigerian personality? I don't know, but I like RMD a lot. <sighs> <laughs> I love RMD a lot, not like yeah, get this one, in no. case he's washing. <laughs> I like you a lot, sir. <laughs> okay, um, what Nigerian languages do you speak? Igbo, I try to speak it. Not fluently, but you struggle. <laughs> you, struggle. <laughs> you struggle to speak it. My um, the, the languages I speak well, I speak mm. Igbo. <laughs> <don't, I'm> so. <laughs> I speak Igbo, I speak um, Hausa because I grew up in the north. I don't know why these people can't speak Hausa actually. I was always in Georgia. I speak Igbo, I speak Hausa and I speak a little bit of Yoruba because mm. I grew up, I, I didn't grow up in... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, um, I schooled in the, in the west, I schooled in Landmark University so I know a little bit of Yoruba. What uh, is the best way to identify a Nigerian? Sarcasm. <laughs> I As swear, sarcasm is our like. Once you meet a Nigerian and that person is not sarcastic, send the person. They should deport the person. As in the, to their real, maybe Libya or yeah. somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> because like Nigerians, that's our like after national anthem, sarcasm is our next, <laughs> our next um, anthem. What is the best kept secret about Nigeria? I don't know. No idea. I really don't know. I don't know. I Maybe think if they have Barish number they should ask him. <laughs> what is no. the biggest misconception about Nigerians? I think people just <laughs> think we are all for one night people. That okay. once you're just walking down the street, they'll dupe you and dupe your life. <laughs> I think that's what uh, people that like the biggest misconception that anybody that you see that is a Nigerian can dupe you. That's their work. They're for one night. Whether abroad, you see. Whether they are abroad or in the Nigeria gone gone, that is the biggest misconception. You, they just stereotype most Nigerians, especially and guys. We are violent people. Yes, and they think we are angry. <laughs> <laughs> they think we like we are very violent and we are angry all the time. Yeah. But maybe we are a little bit. Sometimes a little bit, just sometimes, you know. Mm. What do you love about Nigeria? No idea. Really, Haba. You have to love something about your country. No idea. Wow. I love the food actually. Oh yeah. 
Our food is better than what I watch on TV. So much better. <laughs> so exactly point. I think I love the food. And then, what do you dislike about Nigeria? If we actually start to talk about that, this video might end up <laughs> going on till next year. So we're just going to leave, just that. leave it. Yes. God bless Nigeria. <laughs> Um, um, mention five Nigerian states Anambra, really, <laughs> uh -huh. um, Kaduna, Kaduna, Lagos, Abuja, Kwara, Kwara State. Yeah, so you're going to a military theme party. This one is interesting. You're going to a military theme party close to the army barracks in Nigeria. Are you wearing a camouflage shirt? Show your two way. There's something to you three times. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, you can't even try that. No, but then, if you have a boyfriend that is. Boyfriend that is who? It's wow. To protect you now. They will flog you, you will frog, jump your life away. <laughs> ha. You will remove you, it. As in, you, you, after removing it, you will ha. frog, jump your life. You, you know when you're from. Just, be wicked. They are, like, they are so mean. Especially when they see you wearing camo. I don't know. Fashion. You're doing fashion. Ah, oh, wow. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> you will regret this, that decision that day. The IV says all guests should be seated by 10 a.m. When would you be arriving? When I'm done with my makeup. <laughs> okay. You no, know, but you know Nigerians and African time. Some. Oh, God. There are some that the African time is bad. It's continental. It has left Africa <laughs> now. It's now continental time. So, like, you see them coming for an event of 10 by 4 or 5. I'm serious. It's so bad. Um, but I like to keep to time though. 10, maybe I'll be there by probably 10.30. Oh, I'm really to time. 11. Yeah. No, like, like, like normal... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, like normal African, like normal small, normal African yeah, time. I know it's one on the clock. Oh. Yeah, you're old. <laughs> what's, what's the Nigerian official party food? Party jello. Hey, party jello fries. I, I really... That one with leaves and I swear, and like the, the, the scent, there's this scent that comes from when you cook jollof rice on yeah. firewood. There's this sweet scent it has, minus all the whole other seasonings, and I just love party jollof. You can't get that that taste of party jollof with using like a gas cooker or an electric cooker. So, yeah. What do you eat when you're broke and hungry? You know, we've never been broke and hungry actually. No, say we, <laughs> you. We eat so both of us, so <laughs> I really don't know actually. <sighs> Indomie, I eat Indomie when I'm very broke and I don't, I don't want to. Mostly when I'm lazy, actually, and I don't want to cook. Eh, that's the, that's the issue is that you're lazy now. Indomie oh, like is no. And the bunch of are just so, so, I don't know what you're cut, talking cut. about. Mm. I don't know. Like, if you are broke and hungry, you will find Gary, you cool it, cool it, or granite. Gary is not poor people food. Gary is costly. I really know, do you know how much one cup of Gary is? We are not even putting granite and milk inside. And sugar. And sugar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the Nigerian term for commercial motorcycle? Okada. Okada, 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 Okada. <laughs> How many cubes of sugar do you put in your gari? A lot. As long as it's tasty, you keep adding to you can feel the taste. <laughs> like, you just keep... I, I don't know, it's so bad. Like, we're so, like, we're, we're sugar freaks in this house. Mm. What's general name for drinks like Coke, Fanta, Pepsi, Mirinda? Soft drinks. Really? It's not soft drinks. You are just, I don't know what you will see. You're embarrassing me right now. What is this? Minira. Minira. Oh. Minira. That is it. Minira. Say something in your. Okay, we've already said we're Igbo, yeah? Yeah. They said, what tribe are you? We're Igbo. Say something in your tribal language. <laughs> so you said you, you can speak. <laughs> what should I say in this? Anything. Say anything in your tribal language. I found the peace. That's all, yeah. Speaking My name is Peace. They're speaking their farm like, like they're speaking French. Wait a minute. What's that? Give me water. Give me water. I'm gonna go kita achomiri ni. I'm hungry right now and I want to eat. You see what greedy people say? It's food that has to come to their <laughs> And it's currently like past three in the morning, so I can't really eat anything now, but I'm really hungry actually. Do you speak pidgin English? Yes, ma. Ah. I am. But this place where we did. Ah, <laughs> Razo. I, 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 I think I know how to speak Pidgin English, but you know that there's this accent. In this bar? Yeah, that there's this accent that, that, that really. And people from Benin, there's a way they say, you know, they show, like there's a way they used to speak oh, yeah. Pidgin English. There's this accent that it has that we don't have. I don't know how to speak it like that, but I know how where to speak it. Where are you from? 
worry too that them is the worry people was actually ah. say hey if you're from worry shala ah. hey. what around your house currently represents your culture <laughs> This is called the Ishaka and this is like a musical instrument. Sorry for that noise for the people <laughs> hearing with their earpiece because it's going to be so loud. <laughs> but this is actually used like um, for music. My mom uses it to pray. And it makes those noises and they use it for dancing and all of that. So that's what represents my culture. It's called the Ishaka. What Ishaka. ridiculous question were you asked about your culture? I oh, used to eat human beings, so that's why they were asking me that evil people were violent. How do you eat? Who's. Oh, if I would ask me if I'm eating human being. <laughs> yeah, sure, if I I don't know where. I don't know, Sha. It's not Sha us. They should go and find them. So. Nobody has asked me that, you know. When it's something is not doing you, you are. What do Nigerians say when um, there's power? When there's power supply? Up, Nepa! I don't think we shall. You this. just scream. Ah, yeah! yeah. Kind of things, but well, now they are trying actually. Yeah, I think they are. They've really improved, like yeah. with power supply and also really nobody nice. has to be shouting up Nepal. Really the learning. funny thing, the funny thing is they um they changed from Nepal Nigerian Electric Power Authority to PSCN, but till today I don't think anybody really takes them seriously to call them PSCN. Everybody <laughs> says Nepal. Nobody has joined Nigeria. I swear, to that's please. it. There's too much, there's too much trouble to be thinking to be of PSN and, and Nepa. So guys, that completes this um, video. I hope you get, you got to know us a little bit more and our nationality, which is Nigeria. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye I'll guys. I'll see you too. <laughs> Bye guys. Man can sleep. Man's not hot. I tell her man's oh, not man's hot. I'm tired though. Tell her take off your jacket. Man's not hot. This is my name, this one. <laughs>